Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly messages from Spirit. This week we are going to be looking at what warnings and what karmic lessons are here for us. We're doing this by looking at some tarot cards and also some oracle cards. Aquarius, I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because by doing so you're going to get a much deeper and fuller reading. Also, if you could subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, I would appreciate that as I release videos for you every single day. So, these are the cards and the energies that we're working with this week. We are seeing you opening up this reading with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, as you can see, is a card that is stating that you are feeling under so much pressure you're doing too much and you are in that energy of not seeing where you're going because there is just so much. You have taken on so much work. You have taken on perhaps so much stress and you are in that mode at the moment of having tunnel vision. You are pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing and spirit is like, hey, put your burdens down. It's time to stretch your back and look forward. Look where you're going. Because right now you are just looking at the ground and you're pulling your burdens and it is just getting too much. This is the card that just shows that there is just so much too much on your plate and you're losing sight of what possibilities there are. You're losing sight of how you can see how other people can help you because you are just, I can do this. I am in this alone. It's me, myself and I. And the divine and spirit are saying, no, it's not because we are right here with you. And not only that, you have your spirit guides who are here to work with you, to assist you. And your spirit guides, you made a contract with them, a soul contract with them. And they in turn made the same with you. And this contract was, as you are walking through this life, when times get too hard, when burdens get too much, it is time to ask for your guardian angels. It is time to ask spirit, source, the divine, to assist you and to help you. And by not asking your guardian angels, you are cheating them because it is their job to come and assist you. It is their job to come and help them. But by you not asking, they cannot just step in because the agreement is that you will try to work things out by yourself. But when it gets too much, you will say, hey, guides, guardian angels, the celestial beings that walk with me through this life. Things are getting too much. I can't see anymore where I'm going. I don't even know perhaps why. Everything has just got too much for me. Please, can you step in and help me? And then this is your, your rescue team. This is your team that comes in and lightens the burden for you. Spirit is saying that you have forgotten that you have help here and you have forgotten how to ask for that help. It's like going to visit a different country, right? You are on this planet and this is like a different country because we all are divine beings. We don't belong here. We're just here experiencing life. We're just here experiencing different aspects of being human, right? So we have come here on this journey. We have come here on this visit. And in you coming here, you have forgotten how to communicate with your guides, with your guardian angels. You have forgotten how to tap them in. So like I was saying, it's like going to a different country and you're having a great time and suddenly something happens and you're in that mode of, oh my God, what is the emergency number here? What do I dial? 
Because in your country, the emergency number is a different number. And now you're here, stuck, not knowing what to do because you can't even get in touch with the emergency team that can come and assist you. So spirit is really trying here to ask you, really emphasizing to you to get in touch with your emergency team. They are here, ready to work with you. They are here, ready to swoop in, assist you, aid you, walk with you, take you wherever it is that you need to go. So remember, you are not alone. Put this bed and down, get to the phone, close your eyes even, and just start asking your divine guides, those celestial beings to start working with you. So we have spent so much on this card, but Spirit really wanted to emphasize that it is time for you to get in touch. There is no judgment, just as there was no judgment if you go to a different country and you don't know how to ask for help. The emergency team cannot come in because they don't know that you are in need of help. And when they eventually find out that, oh, this person, this happened to them and they didn't know how to get in touch, there's no judgment there because it's a choice. You have chosen not to educate yourself in knowing what emergency numbers to dial when you go to different countries. So now is the time spirit really wants you to ask you to educate yourself, to remember how to get in touch with your guardian angels. Because we have this beautiful energy of the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is turning. And as you can see, the wheel of fortune is that card that speaks about change that is on the cards for you, but change being here. This card also speaks about Lady Luck being there with you. Even though there is this darkness that is going on in the world, you are understanding finally that you don't have to do everything alone. You have your guides who are here working with you. And so you are not focused on this darkness anymore. You suddenly lifting up your head, looking and assessing where it is that you want to go and finally stepping up to that wheel of fortune and turning that wheel of fortune. So the wheel of fortune is all about transitions, changes. And I mean, we all understand at the moment that we are all going through major changes individually and also as a collective. And remember that luck is on your side. And so spirit really wants you to understand that this week, get in touch with your guides, get in touch with the divine. Luck is on your side to help you, assist you on these changes that you are going through. So this is this transformation that is on the cards at the moment, but you are not alone. So the next card that we have is the Empress. And the Empress card speaks about nurturing, right? So your guardian angels, the divine being here to really give you that nurturing, that tender, loving care that you need. It's like going home and being with your mom and saying, mom, Oh my God, things didn't go out the way I planned out. And your mom being like, okay, baby, come here, talk to me. What happened? And you putting your head on your mom's chest and having a good old cry. And mom always is there giving those words of wisdom, nurturing, loving, stroking your hair, telling you that she understands, but things are going to get better. So this is the energy that is here, that's available to you. So the Empress card is saying, tender loving care is right here for you. It's being held out. Will you come and accept this tender loving care, this nurturing energy that your guides and the divine want to give to you? The Empress card is all about growing in abundance, 
We're seeing that there's so much growing that's around our Empress here. And this is that energy. We have all the cycles behind our Empress indicating that change. Remember about the Wheel of Fortune. So this is all about the changes that are going through. But Spirit really wants you to understand that there is this nurturing that is here for you. Come to the garden of Gaia. Come to the garden where you can be soothed, where you can be healed. You can have time to just be in that energy where you feel protected, comforted and cared for. And so Spirit really wants you to understand that you don't have to go through this cycle, this difficult cycle that we're going through. You don't have to go through that alone. Not only do you have luck on your side, you have this tender loving care that's also being offered to you. Now, Aquarius, the next card, which is our first Oracle card, is the card of the warrior. And this card is asking you to be fearless and to stand strong. I love the energy here because right now, being the energy of the Ten of Swords, sorry, the Ten of Wands, just pushing, pushing and pushing. But the Ten of Wands is that energy of it's too much. You're breaking your back. You could literally have back pain right now. And that back pain is manifesting in a way to tell you that you are taking on too much. And even though you are a fearless warrior, even though you can stand strong, you don't have to do this alone. There are the warriors here working with you. Remember to tug them in so they can come and play in this game of life that you're going through at the moment. I loved seeing Jupiter here because remember we spoke about luck. Remember we spoke about having that wheel of fortune card indicating that there's changes that the cycles and we have Jupiter here emphasizing again that luck is on your side because Jupiter is all about luck. It's all about expansion. I mean, let's have a look at the book so I can really give you the energies of Jupiter because these energies of Jupiter are really powerful. The energy of luck is really powerful here. So I really want to clarify I really want to give you as much as I can because Spirit is really trying to emphasize these two cards to you so that you can understand that you don't have to be breaking your back all alone. So let's look at Jupiter in the book. Uh, bear with me just one moment as I find Jupiter. Okay. 18. Okay. So Jupiter is associated with the Roman god Jupiter, the ruler of heaven and earth, thought of as fair and the justice protector. Jupiter is often thought as the planet of luck and expansion, the desire to understand the bigger picture. Remember with the Ten of Wands, you have lost sight of the bigger picture. So there's a desire here to understand the bigger picture, to prosper and to experience joy a part of Jupiter's influence. And this energy is what's part of you right now, this week, if you tap into it. So having faith, having luck on your side is really emphasized. So do not let this energy go to waste. Claim this reading for you and claim this energy and work with this energy. Don't let this energy just slip by. So now we have Kali, who is the goddess of endings and beginning, beginnings. And so Kali is here to say, the old must be released so that the new can enter. So you must release this old thinking of, I am here alone, no one helps me, Poor me, why release that? This is the new beginnings that are also on the cards with the wheel of fortune. You have luck on your side. It is time to 
to understand that you are not on this journey alone and you are being invited to come home, to come home to Mother Gaia, to, to Mother, because the Empress is the mother of the tarot card. So come home so you can feel that love, that nurturing, that tenderness that mothers are just amazing at giving, that feminine energy of softness. You're being invited to come here to heal, to mend your heart, to mend that, that backache and to be in that energy of finally healing so you can get up and enjoy this energy of Jupiter and Lady Luck so you can start creating something better for yourself. Now, our final card from the Moon series is again emphasizing luck. Oh my God, <laughs> how many times has Spirit emphasized this card, this energy over and over again? And so this is the third time that the same energy is being highlighted of that lucky break, that luck being on your side. Please do not waste this energy this week. Whenever you're reading or seeing this reading, that time, these are the energies that are available to you. You have so much luck that is here for you. Take it. Take it and be in that energy of Sagittarius. Aim high. What are your goals? How can you expand them and make them bigger? Because remember, Jupiter is here. That God that expands, that also showers you with blessings and luck. So with this card, again, it's saying to you that luck is on your side. And this, Aquarius, is the reading that I have for you. I am almost in envy of you in a good way of how much beautiful energies that are here for you. Please take this, work with them, connect with the divine, connect with your guardian angels, connect, make that connection so that you can really be in this energy of being nurtured, of being loved, of being reminded how important you are, of being reminded how divine you are and of being reminded what you are meant to be here to do. You are not meant to be here to work hard, to toil, to suffer. You're not just meant to be here to work hard, to pay bills and then to die. There is so much more that is here for you. And so please come to this energy of the Empress, this energy of mother, of tender loving care, so that the divine can nurture you, can remind you how divine you are, how powerful you are, because you have forgotten. So this is the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I wish you all the luck in the world. There is so much of it overflowing. Enjoy the new beginnings. Enjoy being nurtured, being loved, being comforted, and enjoy these energies and its a goodbye from me. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video.